Welcome to the BFME1 Evil campaign, which has been entirely reworked. It's now much more engaging and also much more challenging. I don't know if you can agree with me, but back in the day when I used to play the campaign of BFME1, I always did prefer to play the good campaign. Evil campaign wasn't really, you know, tempting me to play it over and over again because it was kind of boring, especially the Mordor part. You had no heroes besides the Nazgul and the overall gameplay was kind of, you know, nothing compared to the good campaign but this ladies and gentlemen has been entirely reworked and changed and now you will have a much better experience playing the evil campaign in bfme1 on the page 2.2 let me show it to you heisengard once allied to gondor this land now serves a new master the dark lord sauron the dark lord sauron We have much work to do. We have much work to do, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's put the crossbowman up on the on the wall. We need to, you know, this is the first mission. First mission is always easy. It's like a, a introduction into the campaign itself. But this is going to be a long video. We will be playing multiple missions into in one video, so you can kind of have the timestamp, so you can, you know, see all the campaign missions. Smoke rises from the mountain of doom, and Gandalf the Grey rides to Isengard. Saruman. We must join with Sauron. When did Saruman the Wise abandon reason for madness? Okay, here by the way you need to be careful because he's way too strong. So just run. Run away from him. Run away from him. I'm gonna blast you, bro. Now you better run away. If you just stay there and fight him in a one-on-one, -on -one, he will beat you. <laughs> Unlike in the films, you know? Okay, from the power points, we can choose, of course, the war chant. That's super important. Let's build up a Uruk pit over there. Um, we cannot recruit any more workers, but that's totally fine. And these crossbowmen are extremely important for later on. Spoiler alert, there will be some ends we need to be dealing with. Let's get a bit more crossbowmen up on the field. We can put them up on the wall, you know. That should be kind of good. Warshan is reloading. We have also uh, a new hero. And it's Grima Warmtongue. He has only one ability. Uh, that ability is actually not to be underestimated. It will reduce enemy armor and damage by 25%. So they will deal quarter less damage, quarter less armor. Oh, you can actually buy fire arrows. I think that's a new change um, from d to make the mission a bit easier. destroy them okay so i'm gonna use these crossbow and my heroes are gonna be level two burn them burn the ends of fangorn oh no 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 oh my god they are attacking my thingies Oh my god, the damage is kind of crazy with fire arrows. You know, giving fire arrows to this ends, uh, to this crossbow man will make the mission, of course, overall much, much easier. Put your heroes next to your archers so they share experience. That's why my dude, Prima, got level 2. Pretty easily. We could invest the power point into the vision of Palantir, but I prefer to not to do that. Rid me of these elves. Spare no one. Their time runs out. Okay, we put the crossbowman here up on the wall. Give them all fire arrows, and then we also will use Warchan on them. My friend Saruman is gonna blast the elves into the next dimension. They don't die though. But Grima and Saruman side by side, you know? Level 2, beautiful. Beautiful. More crossbowmen required. Maybe even more normal ones as well. Isengard will prevail. Isengard will prevail. Grima, um, I like Grima a lot. Let's give them all fire arrows. 
Now we can't get any bigger army. But that's totally fine. Oh, more ends are coming, boys. But luckily, we have a line out of man. We will die now. Burn them. Burn those sneaky little ends. They are actually Speedy Gonzalez, bro. They are running it down. Grima is also quite fast. My Look my Libra damage against the ends. Look my Libra damage against the ends. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Yeah, giving fire rolls to the crossbowmen, of course, will make it quite easy. In the original campaign mission, you had only these two crossbowmen at the beginning of the game. Only they had fire rolls, so you needed to keep them alive. Which was making the mission, of course, harder, but also more annoying. So, I always see the first mission as an introduction, which should not be too difficult. Eliminate them! Eliminate them, bro. Okay, let's move with this crossbowman to this location. So I'm gonna actually wait for my crossbowman. I need to lure them to my base. So I have Warchan and everything. We need to make sure that our heroes don't die, though. Super important. Look who is here. Catch me. Ooh. Boom, Chocoloco. Oh my god, is this Eo? Look at this dude. There is a hero. Theodred is there, bro. Theodred is coming. He will die, though. This Theodred is so tanky. These Rohirrim are also tanky. They have heavy armor and everything. Theodred doesn't want to die. He does not want to die. No, don't die. I mean, we have an army worthy of Mordor. That's what Sauron was, Sauron was asking Saruman to do. And we managed to do that. The land has been stained with the blood of men. The first mission, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We will skip that animation. Can we skip that animation? We can't. We need to watch it. But we are on our way to Helm's Deep. So let's continue. Um, you can maybe later on comment in the comment section down below. And I can change the name of the Crossbowman Heart and my army to your name. Okay? Two power points and 30 command points. We will move immediately again to the, to the second mission. That's going to be on the map Fangorn Forest. Fangorn is the ancient home of the Ents, an excellent source of fuel to drive the engines of industry. Let let burn let it burn, you know. Let's burn the Fangorn forest, boys. Draw their strength from the Ent root. We must destroy it. We will kill Treebeard too. We have a strong army now, very strong army actually. We have much work to do. We have much. Let's always give them the wedge formation, so the wedge, the wedge formation uh, will make them deal more damage. And because we are ranged, we will keep our distance. We will make sure that the enemy is not coming close to us. Oof, what a fine shot by this end, bro. Ooh, what a fine shot. I want to give it to my heroes. Nice, beautiful. Um, unfortunately, the Grima has no other ability yet. Yet. Just wait. We have power points. We can get... I, I would like to get either the Eye of Sauron or the Industry. Um, I think we need. We don't need Industry. We should always have enough money. So Eye of Sauron is raw damage power, which I really like a lot. These elves are super annoying, by the way. Need to make sure that we, have, uh, we are protecting our crossbowmen. Armory. Let's get the armory first. Now they will see my power. Okay, let's tower up a little bit. There are more elves coming. 
Destroy the elven camp. We They're will attacking break their attack soon. They're attacking they us. They will die for their treason. I'm getting hungry. Okay, beautiful. So far, it's so good. They will learn who I am. Kill the elves. Oh, Level yeah. 3 Saruman 2, beautiful. The, now that's gonna unlock his leadership ability. Nah, I don't think so. I think leadership was available right off the bat. We need level four for his level five for his speechcraft actually. Level five, not level four. Level four was. Where is the warm tongue ability from this dude? The enemy is on us. I don't see the warm tongue ability from this dude. Saruman's magic can aid the devastation of the forest. Hmm. They're attacking the camp. You cannot contend with the will of Saruman. We cannot contend with the will of Saruman. I mean, you cannot contend. I can. Stand back. And they attack on repeat, and they are outranging my towers too. So I will get the signal over and over again that they are attacking me. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, if I must say so myself. Get them all the banner. All of them. Then I will make them hit like a truck. And we need to get to this location as soon as possible. But I would like to be prepared before doing that. Um, after we can on, In this mission, we can only buy banner and fire arrows. And after doing that, we can demolish the armory and build up the Urukpir instead. Who's attacking me, actually? This elves. This singular elves, actually. Super annoying. Okay, now we can demolish it. I think all of our crossbowmen currently already have their fire arrows. Yes, they do. Um, now we can build the Uruk pit just in case we might lose some of our units, you know? There is also Haldir, another new hero. Look, they are annoying, these elves. <laughs> Super annoying. Don't do this. When you E-click, you don't need to right-click anymore. So they will attack. When you E-click like this and then right-click, on the spot that, that will order your units to attack everything until they reach that point need to blast them i will lose a lot of army there even we knock even down um the haldir Oof, ants are coming we need to kill the ants first beautiful Okay, we need to put Saruman a bit closer to the army so they get armor leadership from Saruman. 40% armor and more combat experience. Always great. Come, my servants. Okay, we lost a lot. Elves will pay indeed, Saruman. You are totally right about it. They attack me over and over again. Let's keep moving. We have work to do. We have work to do, boys. Oops. You go back, my friend. You are level 3. I, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose the level, highly leveled units, you know? You cannot replace them, basically. You just can't replace them. Now we are command points kept again. It's also level 3. These are also badly damaged, so we can send them all back. All back. And we can continue with the ones who are not damaged. That hard. In this way, when you keep doing that, you can even extend your command points. So we have 270, and as they are regenerating, we will have more than 270. Watch this. That's a simple trick in BFME 1, which will, you know, also helps in multiplayer, but also in campaign and skirmish, you can have a much bigger army than you are normally allowed to. Okay, we, we go now. We keep going. Need to make sure that the elves don't shoot me. This end mode is going to be tough to be destroyed. So I'm going to wait for these guys to regenerate. And I will bring them all into one spot. Oh my god, they're outranging me. You know? That's the main issue there. 
Did he regenerate? Did he regenerate? We can also bring these guys now to have a big army of crossbowmen. Um, the difference between the crossbowmen to a combo battalion like this is that you have more firepower if you don't make combos. And with the combos, you get also a bonus. Look, combo bonus, it gives you more armor and damage. But the damage you will get from a combo is by far not as good as the wedge formation. And also, the singular units or battalions are faster. We have work to do. We have work to do. Look, my army, bro. It's looking strong, isn't it? They are still busy destroying my uh, slaughterhouse. Oh, no, no, no. Move this way. The path thing in this game, you need to always think and uh, move uh, step by step, you know? Let's group all together in one place. Big war chain incoming and go. Show them. Show the ends who the real boss is. Kill him. Don't let, let him attack you. What is Treebeard? I don't see where Treebeard is. Oh, he's coming. With hobbits on top of his shoulders. Let's kill the other ends first. So they don't get the chance to trample me. Damn it, these ends are on fire, bro. No, I lost a lot. The streetbeard is on. He's not dying. It's a Giga Chat or what? Now kill the hobbits. They dropped. <laughs> Bring the hobbits to Isengard. These hobbits are also level 10. They are hurting actually. Okay, now we, before destroying this, we need to replace the army we lost. Super important. Who's attacking me again? Please kill this guy. The elves are outranging us. Now we just need to destroy the end mood. But before that, before you end a mission in this game, in, because it's a snowballing campaign, so each unit you have will be kept for the next mission too. That's why you want to always fill up your command points, you know? Super important. So, like this. Um, we still lost a lot though. If I would pay attention, I would not lose a single battalion. But I didn't pay attention. I was too greedy. And you are being rewarded for keeping your units alive. Our time has come. I, we, I mean, we hurt you, bro. We hurt you at the first time. Destroy the end mood. The end mood is super tanky. Boom! Die, elves. There are still many elves, actually. But not enough elves. Let all the world fear the darkness. Let all the world, world fear the darkness. Okay. Easy game, easy life. Let's go for the mission number three. And now we have options. We can go for the Eaves of Fangorn or Gepa Frohan. This one is, of course, more rewarding. So we choose always that stuff, what is more rewarding. Also, the Mordor campaign is going to be quite fun. Forward fighting, Urukai! No rest to the last man I mean, our army is not looking too strong, if I'm being honest with you. But luckily, we have now the Eye of Sauron. 
Mm, I'm gonna go like this because industry is always great, but I can later on choose the scavenger and in the campaign we will kill thousands of units. So scavenge is gonna be definitely enough to keep the resource income high. So we won't really need, really need uh, the industry anymore. But it's optional. You can do whatever you want with the power points now. Now he has more powers, you see? And also this guy has now more, more powers. Mm, he has the Mind Breaker in control of targeted enemies. So you can uh, steal them and corrupt in intervention. Summon three corrupted Rohirrims leading white men to conquer Rohan lands. So uh, lots of new abilities, lots of new heroes, lots of new content. Um, especially, I mean, it's also the same for the good campaign. There are also lots of new heroes and abilities. But uh, for me personally, the evil campaign needed it the most due to the lack of content, you know? Okay, let's build towers just to feel a bit more safe. Ooh, we need to move to this location as soon as possible. We could steal these ants, by the way. Nothing will stand in our way. Okay, more towers, and then here I want to build the armory. But first of all, let's move to the spot. A new power is rising. A new power is rising. Nothing will stand in our way. Mm, they could get this one too. But I just... Uh, CBA, I don't want to go there, you know. I don't want to walk anymore. Okay, you stay, we've captured with you the outpost. And we move to the spot. Oh, they are already here. So I'm gonna buy this outpost first. And I, we can go for a small attack, maybe. Like an ultra small attack. Into the tower. Let's use War Chant and go. Moriko? Never hurts. Kill the Yeoman Archers first. Put the heroes next to your army so they can share experience. So we can get our wizard to level 4 way easier. Now we can go for a blast and I, we put his servant. You know, Grima and uh, Saruman have to stay close to each other. Boom! Uh, level 4. Who is this guy? He's so strong. Oh my god, they are coming. It's time to use the ability. That's a big area though. Oh, we stole them. Okay, we are cash looting a lot. Let's build the armory like this. And also more furnace for more eco. Okay, maybe we need to back up a little bit. I don't want to lose my army. There are too many peasants. And there is this dude. I don't know. Royal Guard Rohan. He's so strong. No, look. The trample is going to hurt me now. Kill, the, kill this Rohirrim, please. Nice. Okay. Great. We have now two stealing abilities. We can use Warm Tongue. And also from this dude, we can use Mind Breaker. <laughs> That's amazing. Can we buy more upgrades in this mission, though? Yes, we can buy more upgrades in this mission, and that's exactly what we will be doing. Actually, buy all of them. Level 4 crossbow man. Super strong. Ooh, what is this about to come? Victory is at hand. None shall oppose us. Can our um, army or heroes be enough to defend this? The peasant invasion. It's an our time has come. Isengard will prevail. We I mean, heavy armor is such an important upgrade in this game, by the way, guys. To boom! Oh, the blast wasn't the greatest! I stole them all. Put them back to the beast. 
So they died to the towers later on. Give now heavy armor. Beautiful. Okay, once we buy all the upgrades, that's the first thing what we're gonna do is to demolish the armory. It's just wasting a spot in our castle, or in this case, the camp, and I don't want that. Could I'm also forge bleeds, just why not? The upgrade doesn't really add too much to the table, though, because they will barely get the chance to fight on melee. But against Rohan, maybe it's gonna be useful because we will have to fight against Rohirrim. They're attacking me from the other location, too. Um, the problem is we are command points kept, so we cannot even produce any more units. So let's gonna give them also heavy armor. Now we have a really, really strong army. We will take this camp now from our opponent. We should be able to, without any problems. Our base is gonna be fine. We have Io Sauron ready and the Vorchan ready. So we are as strong as we could get. We go here to this opening between these two uh, wooden walls and then use big watch and boom let's kill this royal guard actually he's hurting us he's dead <laughs> i also run to for more leadership let's go look at them shine bro destroy the cita oof the damage it's some damage some serious damage we are dealing Boom! Okay, we destroyed the camp. That was it already. That's a that's like the easiest mission ever, bro. A new power is rising. Victory is at hand. Guys, can you let me know in the comment section down below how many times did Saruman so far say a new power is rising? It's unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, that was the mission Eves of Fangorn. And now we will move to the mission number four. That's going to be Amon Hen. Another reworked mission for the evil campaign. Amon Hen was once the northern guard post of Gondor. It now lies in ruin, as will all of this land in due time. And voila, we will have new heroes now. Look who we got here, boys, in the BFM1 campaign, Ugluk, together with Lourdes. Um, a power point? I don't know. I think we will be super, super, <laughs> uh, we will be super weak. I'm going to give them heavy armor only. Oof, that kind of hurts, though. I have no money anymore. The ability from Ugluk, Dark Devotion, Leadership Bonus to nearby troops, 200 person combat experience. Super important, super nice. Um, we, are, we, have, we have no more money. Lords level 1, you already know what Lords is all about. And then we have also the Repressed Alliance, summons Krishnak and three battalions of Mordor warriors uh, later on. Um, let's go like this. That's gonna be the number two, two ranged army, and this is gonna be the number one, the melee army. I don't know if it's good and smart to move now, or should we wait for the war chant? Oof, it's too late to answer this question. Formation, formation. Uglu, go, do your thing, kill these elves, get the money. There are... There is treasure on the ground. Need to get this money too, as soon as possible. I mean, his damage is not uh, too bad. He, he's just like two shotting. You go back, please. And this army is super strong, actually, from him. Can I buy, buy them banner also? No, I can't. Only forge bleeds and heavy armor. Look, look, it's doing good job. Oof, they are coming for me, though. Just, I don't... I, you know, even if I save them, though, that's... I don't know. They are level 1. They can't respawn. That's the problem. That's the problem. There is also trash. I need a bit more melee units, though. Let's be real. I need melee. 
I'm I'm so sad that these units are kind of gonna be useless now. So sad about it. Because they have in, I've invested so much money. I have an idea, guys. Call me crazy. But maybe it's gonna work out. Maybe it's gonna work out. I bought them uh, heavy armor. I don't want them to die, you know? We attack soon. Kill him now. The eye will affect them so they get more combat experience and level up faster. Nice. You know, 200 IQ, bro. 200 IQ. You know it. Let's get some more crossbow, man. I much more have these guys on low because they have no heavy armor than these two guys who had heavy armor. Okay, let's get two more cross, uh, two more Uruks. Can we sell them? Should we sell them? I'm gonna sell them. Not getting too much money for that, but they are kind of useless anyway. So I need to wait a little bit for them to respawn, and then we are ready to go. We have Warchan, but we have used the Eye of Sauron just for that uh, leveling up thingy. Um, these guys gonna join with Lourdes, so they will keep their range and shoot from a distance and my melee units will be in the front line and fight with Ugluk together. We have three Uruks without heavy armor and two of them have heavy armor and the ones with heavy armor they are also level 2 so we need to keep them alive no matter what, super important because we have no money, we are kind of poor and broke. Level 2, level 2, beautiful. I have Sauron is almost ready. This mission is a bit tricky, so we need to be a bit more careful and a bit more patient. Could combine, I wouldn't recommend to do that. Okay, let's go. Let's kill those elves, the sneaky little elves. Warchant. I of Sauron. With the glow, I can't even look, bro. I cannot even look. Oh, maybe I should have crippled Gimli. When I think about it, uh, I should have crippled Gimli, bro. Yeah, he needs Lee. Okay, Legolas is dead. That's good. Now we will give fire arrows to this level three. Ultra important. Lords, you grab the money, please. Fire is gonna be quite helpful. Also, this Elvin uh, armor is coming in clutch. They killed all my stuff, bro. Can you please shoot? Please? What the heck? Will I lose? If I lose my heroes, I'm gonna steal the money real quick. Don't, don't mind me. But the level 2, they have fire arrows, don't I? Can you go down there? Even more elves, really? I got all the money though. Run, you fools. They, have not, they are not doing too much damage to my lords. So I got, I got to save this level 2. I'm going to get two of these and then give them also heavy armor. Because I can combine them now. Attack, 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 look, troll. Oh my god, couldn't attack. Move your feet. Move your feet. Kill them lords. Lords is a solo mission, bro. They can't deal with lords. He's knocking down my troll. Where are they? Attack them, please. Punch him, punch him. 
Oh man. Protect them, Lords. Okay, beautiful. Now we have three combos, and two of them are level two. It's amazing. Kill them. Kill the elves. Okay, this is gonna be level. Uh, this is gonna be three. We're gonna give them also trees in their hands. Number three. When these elves are super annoying, aren't they? Kill these elves. I wish my lord would be level 5. You know, it would be a whole different situation. If that would be the case. We are kind of... Oh, we can have, we have pikemen now. That's good. So need pikemen in between the army. I think there are going to be some uh, horses we need to be dealing with. Is there anything else shooting us? It seems okay. Okay, let's move now. More money on the ground. Ooh, damn. Pikemen don't die. Destroy them all! Kill them all! Lords, get the money, please. I'm greedy. There is so much trash on the ground, too. I like it. Troll, don't die. Uh, Oogluk, take the money, bro. Oogluk, you are a hero. There is more money, Oogluk. Okay, we have so much money now, all of a sudden. Let's get more. More combos. Can we get more trolls? I think we can only get trolls if we lose army. Okay, let's go. We have one more combo. I won't combine them, so I will get there faster. And I want to I wanna sacrifice this troll... Just to spawn a bit more trolls, you know? Because you spawn two trolls once your trolls are dead. Go now. Okay, I'm scared about what's to come what about what's about to come. You see, that's what I was talking about. Now the troll is dead, just spawn me two more trolls, please. Can I get two more trolls? Give it to them. Give give me them, bro. Please! But my army is looking strong, guys, isn't it? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Grab a tree in your hands. Beautiful. Okay, so now we need to click on something so they run. They only run when they attack something. When you don't see anything to attack and you press G and there is something to attack, they will still run even though you can't, you don't see them, you know? Okay, it's time, boys. Let's go. Cripple Boromir. Run of its run. Go. Aragorn is also there. Oh, my God. Ugluk, maybe to don't to go too deep. Kill Boromir. Lord, just like in the films. Oh, this Heidi is smacking me. Lord, 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 Lord. You, I won't suffer you, bro. You will suffer me. You will suffer death now. Yeah, you, you, all you want. There is no aid for you. <laughs> Level three. Okay, where are my trolls? Bring them, bring them trolls. Bring them trolls. Lords and also my man Ugluk. You guys, please do not die. These hobbits are made of steel. Men of hobbit of steel or what? Die now, man. This is... I'm, I'm tired of juking your stones, bro. GG, well played. What a mission. 
been stained with the blood of men. Oh, he said something else, then a new power is rising. Yeah, you better get away, but I grabbed the other two hobbits, you know? I'm happy about that one, actually. Okay, so that was the mission number four, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, quite fast. Amon Hen has been conquered. Beautiful. And now we will get closer and closer for the for the Helm's Deep. Um, these two missions are going to be in the next video. I don't want to make it too long. Um, again, comment down below if you want to be named as a Urukai or Crossbowman or Uruk Crossbowman Horde in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to not miss the future uploads on this channel. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.